This tutorial video is meant to provide persons with knowledge of how to complete and submit an application for the County of Volusia's Emergency Rental Assistance Program. As a reminder, the application portal link will activate at 9 a.m. on Tuesday, July 20th. The link to assess the application will be found on this date and time at www.volusia.org era. For additional information about the program, you may call 386-943-7095 or email era at volusia.org. Once applications are made, avail made available, you may click the button to proceed and you will be directed to the page you see in front of you. The first thing that you will need to do is create a new account. You may do this by clicking the new user button here. It will then ask you to put in your email address. You then must create a password. The password must also use a number. You must, you must re-enter the password again. Then click register. Now that you're registered, you must put in household information. Please put in your address. If you have a unit or lot number, you must enter it here. Please select the city that you live in. State will be Florida. And please put in the zip code. If the mailing address is the same, you may click this box. If it is not, as such, it would go to a, a PO box. You may enter that information here. The household details, please select a number of people in your household. For demonstration purposes, we will use a two-member household. The county must be Volusia. Please put in a working telephone number. Please select the type of housing you reside and the family type that most, the best resembles the type of household composition you have. Household characteristics. On the landing page, it did exhibit the income guidelines of whether or not your household is at the 50% of every median income or below. If your household meets that qualification, please click this box. If not, you may leave it unchecked. It also asks is, have you been unemployed for 90 days or longer from the date of this application? If so, please click this box. Referral information, you may select if you're an individual or an agency. Most people will be an individual. And you may also put in about how you heard about this program and how to apply if you'd like. For other information is, is your emergency COVID-19 related? If so, please click yes. And then we'll also ask you if yes, how were you impacted by the pandemic? Please select all that apply. Once you have completed the form on this page, please click Save and Next. This will bring you to the household member page. Household member number one should be the primary applicant slash the head of household. This could be any adult member in the household. Children are not eligible to be the primary applicant slash the head of household. Please put in this information. You do not have to provide the middle name. Again, the very first member of the household, which must be an adult, any adult in the household, you need to click yes. This person is the primary applicant in the household. This will be the primary member of the household who staff will reach out to to follow up on the application. Please select the gender you identify with. 
please provide a working email address as this will be the first point of contact staff will reach out to. Please put the birth date of this applicant. And please provide a telephone number. Please put the social security number of the primary applicant. It should be brought up at this point that anytime you see text in red as such, it indicates that this field must be entered or selected prior to moving and proceeding on with the application. For example, you must provide the first name and last name, but you do not have to provide the middle name. Certain demographics are required to be reported, such as race, ethnicity, and the work status. Please answer the questions below. If you are going to respond to the relationship to head of household for the first person, please select that they are the head of household. And please select the current work status of this individual. If this is a child or someone who is not in the labor force, please select unemployed, not in labor force. Once you have completed this page, please click Save and Next. At this point, if you do have additional members in your household, you may add them at, on this page. If not, you may click Next. If there are more than one person in the household, please click Add New Member at this point. And this page will mirror exactly what you did for the first household member. So please select this or input this information. Since this is household member number two and any additional household members other than household member number one for primary applicant, please select no. The secondary person, you do not have to provide an email address or telephone number, but you may if you would like. Please select or enter the birth date of this individual. As well as the social security number. Again, there are certain demographics that must be uh, provided. The relationship to head of household, excuse me, as military status, the relationship to the head of household for this individual, please select the variable that most closely aligns of how this person is related to the head of household. Once all fields have been completed, please select Save and Next. If you, have, if you have entered in all of the household members, for example, this is a two-person household, make sure to check a couple of things. First, make sure that there is a primary applicant identified in this column, there is, as well as make sure that everything says yes under completed for every household member. And if there are more than one, or excuse me, more than two, you may click add new member at this point. If this is all the you have in the household, you may now click next. Household income. The emergency rental assistance program verifies income eligibility based upon the 2020 income of the household. For example, if your household or this individual did not have any income in 2020, you may select no income. If you do have the 2020 tax return documents, you may select this option. If you do not have your 2020 tax return documents, 
but you do have a rough estimate about how much your household or this member did make, you may select this option. Who receives it? This will bring up a list of all the household members who you have, who you have entered on the application. How often? Again, the Emergency Rental Assistance Program is only interested in the income a household received in the year 2020. So please click this option annually. Please enter how much this individual made in 2020. And the date received. We do recommend that all applicants do use the date of December 31st, 2020. Once you have completed these fields, please click Save and Next. If there are other individuals in the household who, do, who did have income in 2020, you may click Add New Income and you may complete those fields exactly the way we just did. If this is all the income that has been reported in the household, you may now click Next. There are assessment questions that you need to answer. First one is the monthly rental obligation. Please put in the amount of rent that you pay on a monthly basis. These two questions will auto-populate. And then there are other questions that are asked, which you may read and select yes or no for. Once you have completed all required fields, please click Save and Next. The next page is the Apply for Programs. The only program available through this application is the Emergency Rental Assistance Program. For every individual you listed on the application, please do the following. Click Apply for Programs. Please select the box next to Emergency Rental Assistance. And then click Save and Next. And repeat the following for the other household members. Once you have selected the Emergency Rental Assistance Program for all household members, please click Next. The next page is the Document Upload part. If you do not have any documents readily available to upload during your initial application, you may scroll down to the bottom and click Save and Next. It is recommended that individuals do have their documentation as much as they can readily available to upload at time of application. This will help expedite the processing part that way that the caseworkers do not have to reach out to gather additional documentation. However, as I just stated, if you do not have any or all of the needed documentation requirements, please go ahead and proceed with your application. But I do want to do an example of how to upload a document that you have um, ready, readily available on either computer, tablet, or smartphone. By the least, you may click Upload Document. And you may title it as such, please. Then you may select a file to upload. And once you have it, ha it is exhibiting the file there that you'd like to attach, please click Upload. And as you will see, a pop up message, well, it is very quick, that is a smaller file. So it has successfully uploaded, as you can see. We will also upload another document. And you may, you may also leave this blank, the title, if you'd like to. Please attach another file. And then click Upload. And again, 
you'll see that there's a pop-up message stating that the file is uploading. It is important at this point that larger files may take longer to upload. Please do not click back or try to exit out of your browser at this time. The, the system is working, it is processing the file, and it will, it, the, as I mentioned earlier, the larger the file, the longer it will take to upload. The file that I'm uploading now is four times larger than the one I just uploaded previously. So both documents have been provided. If these are the only documents that you have readily available to upload, you may now scroll down to save and next. This is the affirmation and consent page. Please take the time to read all the statements below regarding the emergency rental assistance program. Once you have done so, please type in your initials. And this is a point where you may also leave a comment for staff to read. Once you have done this, please click Save and Review. At this point, it is imperative that you click the Submit button. The application has not yet been received. It has not been processed at this point. You must click the Submit button in order for us to receive and review the documentation and the application. Click the submit button. And as you'll see, there will be a pop up about missing documentation. As I mentioned earlier, it is okay if you do not have any or all needed documentation at the time of your application. Please proceed with clicking submit. And you'll get a message that your application has been successfully submitted. In addition to receiving this message, you will also receive a, an automatic generated email confirming the submission of your application as well as a household identification number. At this point, this concludes the tutorial of how to complete an application for the Volusia County Emergency Rental Assistance Program. If you need additional information, please call staff at 386-943-7095 or you may email at era at volusia.org. Thank you.